15 minutes usually does the exercise. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, okay. Okay. Right, so to sw obviously switch it on. So if you want to change anything or set the heating on or set the ch change the temperature, whatever, anything else, press the big button. It lights up the second line now. Right. So if you want to change any of the settings, that, I that particular icon's got to be flashing. Gotcha, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you just turn the button to whichever icon you want to change. So the first one is you've got a thermometer inside a van. Click on that. That will you can either switch your heating off or set your temperature, whatever temperature you want the heating to come on. Right, if I just set it maximum at the moment, 30, click on that. What you should see in the top of it, there we go. So the flame on that top line is now flashing. So it means you've got heating, but it hasn't got to the temperature that you've requested. So you what you'll hear, obviously the fan's not on at the moment, because it's, it's still quite warm in here, isn't it? But mm. What happens is the fan runs on a thermostat, so when it needs to boost the heat, so that you may hear it come on in a second, it will, it will normally you'll definitely hear, if, if it's really cold in here and you want to try and set it up to something like 23 degrees, the, the unit will heat up first a bit, and mm. then the, you'll hear the fan come in, and it will boost until it gets to the temperature it needs, and then obviously the fan will die back down again. Right, I see. Okay? So the fan will only come on when you need it, not... It's, it's not on constantly, which you, you, your fire, which you had previously, would have been. Mm -hmm. You'd just be on, on or off. So when uh, it reaches temperature, yep. that will stop flashing. Okay, so what I can also do, you see it's gone back to your main screen. Okay, I can actually change the temperature there as well. So you, I can just turn that, click it, and it will confirm it. That little flame should stop now, because we should be up to that temperature. There we go. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's recognised it's up to that temperature, so it doesn't need the fan to come in. Okay, happy with that bit? Mm -hmm. So click the button again. So if you want to change the temperature, click on that. Set the temperature you want. Click it to confirm it. Okay? Right. The next one is your water heating. Yep. So again, get the icon flashing, click the button. So you can have water heating off if you wanted to. So you can run the heater without water in the, con in the um, actual tank if you want to. But don't mm -hmm. have it flat out because it can obviously cause problems with it being too hot. It can overheat. Obviously, it will let you know if you've obviously done that. But you can have it running um, fairly low without water in there. So it Is won't there a recommended water temperature? Um, you, you've got options. It used to be 40 and 60 degrees. used right. to be. Obviously, the, it's up to you, really. But 40, it's still well, exactly controlled. You can set it to... We'll get used to it, I'm sure, won't we? Just, you're, you're, yeah. that, on, that is on the low at the moment. That's on eco. That, the one for that, that, that was at Ben. Was the, the eco hot, one, yeah. So that's roughly about 40 degrees, right. or should be, even though they've changed it to say eco or hot. <laughs> right, but I'll show you that in a sec. Right, let's go back to that again then. So water heating, click on that. Mm -hmm. Water heating off, so you've got no icon on the top line. Eco, which I think is around about 40 degrees. Mm -hmm. Hot, which is about 60 degrees. Or we can add boost. Okay. And what, what will boost do? Get it, get it hot? Get it. Well, bo what boost will do, I'll just click on that. Even though it shows you on the top line there. What boost will do is concentrate all the heating on that water. So what it won't, what it won't allow is the fan to come on to take the heat off to start heating the room. Right, so, I see. So all the, all the heat's going to stop with the boiler to heat the water up. Once it gets up to temperature, then it will allow the heater to come back, uh, or the fan to come on, obviously, if it needs it to boost the temperature in the room. Okay? Okay. You can also do that with the fan as well. Okay, so obviously that's flashing again because it hasn't reached that temperature which is going to be about 60 degrees. If I bring it back to eco, that should, it should uh, stop then, because it was up to, that, up to that temperature a second ago. There we go. There we go, yeah. yeah. Got that. All right. The next one, so you just turn the turn the button. Next one is what energy you're going to use. So that's a bottle, and flashes is electric. So that is not gas, that is gas there. Click on that. So you've got options of gas. So you see there's a bottle on the top. Yep. Mix one, which is electric and gas. So you see one flash. Two flashes electric, or electric on its own. One flash, two flash. But the difference between the, the two electrics, electric one is around about 900 watts. Electric two, or mixed two, is 1800 watts. So they're not, it's not very high electric. On, previous, on your fire and things like that, you probably had two kilowatt, was your highest you mm -hmm. could do. Mm -hmm. This one, you've got to remember, is trying to heat your water and the room. So 1.8 or 1800 watts. Is not a lot of energy for in the in the winter, okay? You it warm it up, 
but it may not quite get the temperature especially if it's really cold outside you may not be able to boost it high enough to be the temperature if you're if you like it really hot it mm -hmm. might struggle okay so you may need to operate on both operate on both electric and gas in the winter in the summer it should be fine because most of the time it's going to be just keeping your water warm mm. rather than heating your van so hopefully fingers crossed the weather's going to be nice mm. and it's uh, not going to need it but in the winter you may need to use both energies to get it to get it up to uh, up to air, air heat okay okay yep yeah. so see that though so electric two 1800 electric one 900 same with the mix too so it's gas and 1800 watts gas and 900 watts okay. and you got gas on its own mm. okay so we'll do all put it on electric two for me okay so that's, that's, that's 1800 watts electric yeah. two that's it yeah the next one is your fan so your fan setting oh touch it twice so you've got eco fan you see that little blade on that fan is just there's one little one colored in yeah if i do it to high two are colored in it's not gonna let me boost now so there is boost function there as well if the temperature is already a reasonable temperature it's not going to allow it to boost okay because it doesn't need it because it's it's reasonably warm already okay if it was say it was only like a couple of degrees in here so you're coming straight from outside it's coming it's that temperature already the same as outside you know the ambient temperature it probably will allow if you try and put it up to um 30 it will allow boost to come on okay what that will do is chuck as much hot air out as it can to work warm your van up as quick as it can so obviously what's going to happen is obviously that you're not going to get that much heat in your boiler so that that's the option oh, so sorry, you've got, yeah. you've got the, either boost on your water that concentrates all the heat on the on the water or if you boost it on the fan side of it it's drawing all the heat away from the bottom you might you, you'll get some warm water but it's not going to get the temperature you, you're going to uh, want but obviously it's blasting all the hair all the hot, all the warm air into the van okay so drawing it away from the from the boiler okay okay so each one of these you need to click on as you, to confirm when you've set it. Yeah, yeah? Right, okay. Okay, so the next line, this one here is a timer. Obviously, if you're going to use a timer, you need to set the clock. So that's the clock. Fairly straightforward, click on the clock. So you just change your hour, whatever it is. To 14, 22. So you just click it for the minutes. That's it set. So when we go back to your main screen, it'll flash between the, hopefully, the correct time. And... Uh, the temperature you've set like if you go back to timer okay so you can set a timer if you want to you click on that one so it'll ask you for your start time so if you want to you can say seven o'clock in the morning if you're all eight so hours minutes mm -hmm. and the end, end time well we'll switch it off at 10 say hours minutes it'll ask you what heating if you want the heating to come on or on what temperature it'll ask you what Water temperature, if you want to set the water to come on at the timer as well. Mm -hmm. What energy you want to use, electric. Fan, eco. So there, you see there, look, there's the, that's the boost. Okay, so it doesn't yeah. know. It, it, it may be cold when it thinks if it may not give you boost if it's already warm in the van. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, but you see the top line now. See the um, the fan on boost, all four blades are coloured in. Okay. Oh, we lost that now. Back to the... I think that was the last one anyway. So the other option at the end of that, it will give you ask you the option of do you want to switch it on or off? You switch it on, click it, and you see that little icon in the top corner there that says your timer is set. Okay, so it'll come on and go off at them times. Okay? Okay. So if you want to switch it off, so get that icon flashing again, it just gives you the option, do you want to switch it off? Yeah, or on. And then click to just click confirm. it and then it obviously it's back to Time's off. manual run. Okay. Okay. So there's a further menu, so we'll just click on that just to show you. Offset, obviously it's thermostatically controlled so you can uh, calibrate it a little bit if you need to. So obviously if it thinks it's already at say 30 degrees which is maximum and it's obviously a lot colder in here than it actually saying on there, the heating obviously won't come on. So you may just need to calibrate it. Temperature, if you want to change it from uh, Fahrenheit to centigrade. Mm -hmm. Branch your screen, 12 or 24 hour clock. Ooh, don't pass that. Language, you want to talk French, German, Italian to it? <laughs> I don't think you'll talk back, but, and, that, and that's it, the index. Okay. So it's, okay. it's fairly, fairly straightforward. Yeah, it's just menu selection, isn't it? And then yeah. remember to press to confirm. Yeah, that's it. But it's, it's not, I can say it's not too difficult. Some, I had one yesterday, which is an Aldi system. The older Aldi system control panel is nightmare. This mm. one is it's pretty straightforward, this one. Mm. And as it, as it says there, I don't know if you've read anything about it, you can 
if these are added extra things where you can actually operate it off your phone or iPad or something like that. But yeah, this is added extra. You need to obviously uh, to a certain expense, and you can actually mm. operate it off your phone if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm just pointing yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just there. It says it's it's ready to for yeah. something to be connected to it if you really wanted to, but. Why you want to set, start setting all the heating up when you're sitting over, up on top of that hill? Perhaps I don't know, but <laughs> possible. <laughs> but now they've even got the control panel, the new control panel on the big on the uh, top of the range ones. Now you can you can be sitting on top of that mountain over there and it'd be dimming the lights up and down. Is that, what, what what light? do <laughs> I if I'm even if I'm in it, at least I can just I just do that and it dims yeah. it. Obviously, I'm not on these lights; it doesn't. But on them ones, you can actually dim them at the back of it. It's like why well, don't you just go do that and go? Yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> but some people have got to have gadgets, haven't yeah. you? Got to have gadgets. Mm -hmm. and obviously, that's where the world's going, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you're happy with your, with your heating panel? I need to, yeah, in all honesty, I need a hands on with it so yes, I can just exactly, mess about. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same, unless I'm using it. There is good videos on um, YouTube for, for that one as well. You that look for Truma Heating, Truma Combi Boiler, you're pretty good there. It's mm -hmm. from the actual manufacturer themselves. Little, little people do it. It is in your handbook as well. So, oh, well. If you want a bit of reading, mm -hmm. it's probably wise to do. Ooh, I'm trying to move slippers, mate. <laughs> right, all the other appliances. Right, you can see that. This is obviously your fridge. I don't know if you can see there's a little tiny green light inside there. Mm -hmm. That's to say it's on. So that's the on off button there. So you just press and hold that and that switches it on and off. To check to see what's up and running, press your grey button. It is green, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at this angle, it looked look like. So it's showing it's run on gas and that's your temperature range there. If you want to change energies or change the temperature range, Press and hold that until it starts flashing. We can now change the energy. So left or right. It doesn't matter which way you go, it mm -hmm. just goes scroll down. So that's electric. So if mm -hmm. I want electric, I'll confirm that. Now asking you what temperature range. So the full five is lit. That's saying that uh, that's the coldest it's going to be. So you can again use the arrows. So if you say, mm -hmm. well, two, all five lit is too cold, it's, the butt's coming out frozen, then just reduce it a little bit. Confirm it with the grey button, it just tells you what you do, what your energy, what your temperature range, and then it'll, the panel will go to sleep. Mm. Any second. So that'll light on the gas automatically? Yep, I'll show you that now. So if you want to light it on gas, again, press and hold the grey button until it starts flashing. Select using the arrow. No, oh, I'll temperature. Come again. Let that go off. Must have pressed it twice. And all that to be flashes. Oh, so right, that's gas icons flashing, yep. confirm, temperature range, confirm, then it confirms it. You've got the uh, flame and that on, that will automatically start to light now. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it. I can, I can hear it running. It will let you know if it fails. Okay, so possible that you get gas may fail to light. Normally, the reasons are either you haven't turned your gas on, or you've run out of gas, or there may be air in the system. A lot of people tend to run on electric, so mm. you can get air in the, in the gas system itself if you haven't, obviously, if you've not used it for quite a while. So, what I'll do, if I'll just show you um, what the failure is first. So, I'm going to put it to 12 volts now. Okay, 12 volts is when it's connected to the car, it's running off 12 volts off that car, not off your laser battery. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it won't cool the fridge down, it'll just maintain the temperature that you've already got the temperature too. If you've got it in storage, obviously you can't cool it down before you go, or unlikely. But if you've got it at home, you can put it into 240 and uh, cool it down, say, 24 hours before. Mm. So that on the 12 volt will maintain the uh, temperature when you're traveling. Okay, you can see that now it's flashing on, on the battery, mm -hmm. and it's got a little red light inside there. That's, oh, so. That means it's failed. Yeah. Okay. okay, so it'll show you that on the gas if the gas has failed. That's showing failure now because obviously the car's not connected and the engine's not running. Okay? Mm hmm it will also show you failure on electric, obviously, if you haven't plugged your electric in. Okay, so if it has failed on the uh, gas, what you do is switch the uh, fridge off. And it'll hopefully, wait, wait for a few seconds for it to reset. Check them different things, make sure you've got gas connected, your gas is turned on. Maybe even run your cooker just to make sure you have got gas. Then switch it back on and it will re attempt to light it. It may take two or three attempts if you haven't used it for quite a while. Mm, what, okay. it's, what it's doing then is um, purging the air out of the system. Mm. Okay. Okay, so yeah, happy to operate that. Yeah. You think it will remember if you if I switch it off on electric now, it will remember it was on electric last time. So the next time you come to it, you switch it on, it will it'll try to connect to electric. Obviously, you've got electric connected. Okay. 
That's it. The only the only way you know it's actually switched on, you can just see the green light on. And all you do is just press and hold that. 